Japan is a dynamic member of the world community. Japan is touched by international trends, both political and economic, and at the same time, it too exerts a degree of influence over world events. Japan's vigorous economic activity is common knowledge, and there is tremendous vitality in the country's cultural and political realms as well. And what lies behind this great vitality is a high-powered and free system of mass communication. Japan's mass media has complete freedom. There are many enterprises in the mass media business, and the competition among them is fierce. Staff members have a keen sense of competition, too, and everyone works hard to put out an even better product. comes to Japan's towns and cities with the newspaper delivery. Most households have the paper delivered to the door. And in many cases, they get both the morning and evening editions of the newspaper. In fact, the rate of home delivery in Japan is close to 91.8%. Newsstands on the street and in railway stations carry a wide variety of newspapers. Besides general interest newspapers, there are sports sheets and all kinds of trade papers. And there are English language papers too. Newspaper circulation in Japan was over 67 million in 1981. That's 575 papers per 1,000 in population, making Japan's newspaper circulation first in the free world. Japanese newspapers are quite different from their Western counterparts in several respects. One is that in Japan, the nationally circulated papers corner a large share of the entire country's market. The five big dailies, the Asahi, the Mayanichi, the Yomyuri, the Sankei, and the Nikkei, have nationwide sales and delivery networks, each with several million in circulation. Newspapers in Japan are independent. They limit their advertising revenue to around 50% to maintain their independence and stability. And company stock is not open to public purchase. In terms of quality, the big Japanese dailies are in a class with the best Western newspapers, offering a very wide range of information. This may be attributed to the generally high level of education in Japan, and because the high degree of economic and cultural activity calls for the best quality of information. There are a large number of newspaper companies in Japan, employing around 65,000 people in 106 newspapers belonging to the Japan Newspaper Publishers Association. Among them, 28% of the employees are journalists. Some big papers have as many as 2,000 newsmen on the job. Most journalists in Japan are college graduates.
In addition to maintaining quality of content, Japanese newspapers also aim for speed. To produce stories faster, they're introducing new systems and technology. All of the nationwide newspapers have their own aircraft, each equipped with photographic transmitters. Polaroid pictures taken from the air are electronically transmitted to the newsroom. When there's no phone nearby, they dispatch special radio trucks to the scene. Teletype can be used as an alternative to phoning in stories from rural bureaus. Or they can use a telephone facsimile. There are around 2,500 characters used in Japanese newspapers. The huge number of characters has always been a stumbling block to speedy newspaper production. Hand setting of type is a thing of the past. Now there's a system for producing individual characters automatically. Although some newspapers still do the layout of pages by hand, more and more newspapers have succeeded in computerization, getting rid of conventional type. They've changed all the characters into codes on a special keyboard and put them into the computer memory. For example, let's take the characters for Taiyo or Sun. These characters can be broken down into a series of black and white dots. A computer code is created for the original character using the dots. The computer memorizes the code for these two characters. They can break photographs down into black and white dots put them into code, and enter them into the computer memory. The same thing goes for advertisements. The stories, pictures, and advertisements that are put into a computer memory can be called up on a display screen to be laid out. Entire pages which have been laid out in Tokyo are photographed and transmitted by facsimile to printing plants in other parts of the country. So both the main bureau in Tokyo and the printing factories have the same negatives at exactly the same time. No matter where a reader lives, whether in a city or in the countryside, he will have access to the latest news. The presses at the national newspapers each have a printing capacity of 2,400 copies a minute and can also print in color. The big five national newspapers have news gathering and sales networks all over the country. Each of the nationwide papers carry local news pages too. And the local newspapers do a good job of covering news that's closer to home. There are local papers whose circulation is limited to a single province as well as those which cover several provinces. There 
are some 101 local papers in Japan in competition with the national dailies. papers work to catch readers by offering them stories written with the local people in mind from a hometown point of view. Their circulation ranges from around 40,000 to as high as 2 million. For national and overseas news, the local papers rely on the news agencies for copy, which they get over the teletype. A printer automatically changes this tape into characters. Japan has two large news agencies of its own. Gigi and Kyodo. The Kyodo News Agency is managed by a cooperative of around 65 local newspapers and the National Television Network, while the Gigi News Agency is a private enterprise. The news agencies and the big national newspapers all have their own overseas news gathering networks and have a large number of correspondents posted overseas. The Japanese wire services also have contracts with foreign news agencies, which give added muscle to their news coverage. The major Japanese newspapers devote a great deal of space to overseas news. Japanese news agencies also send domestic stories to overseas clients. This is the overseas reporting network of one Japanese news agency. It has bureaus in major cities throughout the world and 57 reporters working overseas. If a story calls for it, extra personnel are sent from Tokyo to cover it. The Japanese are avid readers of newspapers and magazines. One medium that particularly answers this great desire for the printed word is the Japanese weekly magazines. There were 57 weekly magazines in Japan in 1981, with a total weekly circulation of 1,320,000,000. The lion's share of the weekly readers go for news magazines, followed by fan magazines, comic books, women's magazines, and other publications. All of the weeklies grab their readers with a liberal dose of photographs and illustrations. Of course, the Japanese book publishing scene does not only produce mass appeal weekly magazines. The overwhelming majority of publications in Japan are to be found on the shelves of bookstores. The Japanese publishing industry is thriving. In 1981, 42,000 new titles came out, or approximately 1.2 billion books and 3.2 billion magazines. Out of the 1.2 billion books published in 1981, 200 million were paperbacks. These inexpensive pocket-sized editions helped make good books available to a wider readership. One hallmark of the Japanese book world is the wide variety of translated works. From about a century ago, Japan underwent modernization by absorbing and assimilating Western culture. Today, the Japanese still have the same insatiable thirst for knowledge. There are 30,000 bookstores in Japan. No matter how small the town, you will always find a bookstore.
Tokyo's used bookstore section. One shop after another selling used books, each store specializing in a particular field, so there's not much direct competition. Popularization of electronics is a fact of life in Japan today. An overwhelming array of electronic devices are reaching consumers. We are being inundated by audiovisual culture with the spread of radio and television. The people who listen to the radio most are farmers, shopkeepers, housewives, students, and drivers. They are usually alone and doing something else at the same time. What they listen to most is music, interspersed with information of general interest. For instance, traffic information, given at regular intervals. Drivers who rely on the radio can avoid heavy traffic and get where they're going a lot faster. More and more, two-way radio and television are going on the air to a growing audience. There's a lot of this back and forth communication. Disc jockeys encourage listeners to phone in song requests and questions, and the DJs respond to them on the air. Good evening and welcome. This is radio News from Japan goes out to radio listeners around the world from NHK, Japan's public service radio and TV network. Every day, NHK transmits a total of 37 program hours in 21 languages to 18 geographic zones. Television broadcasts in Japan began in 1953. Color transmission began in 1960. The 1964 Tokyo Olympics, when practically everyone in Japan tuned in on the big event. The Olympics saw color television sales skyrocket. Today, television broadcasts in Japan run for some 20 hours a day, from early in the morning to late at night. Color transmission is on the same system used in the United States. There are two forms of financing television broadcasts in Japan. NHK is supported by viewers, like the BBC public broadcast system. Then there's commercial television, whereby sponsors buy airtime for advertisements and viewers pay nothing. There are 90 such commercial stations in Japan.
1982 Japanese government survey showed the average household had 1.5 color TV sets. On the average, the Japanese watch television over three hours a day. NHK has separate general interest and educational channels, and in the major cities, the commercial stations make up as many as five channels. The battle for viewers rages on. TV offers a wide variety of programs. はい、藤井さん。ちょっとロックペン。ちょっとロックペン。ほら。ほい、ずるずるずるずる。で、選挙運動に膨大なお金がかかる。またローリングバッターボックスだったんですか。そうですね。まあ、イスラム教国パキス